Hello everyone and welcome back to the My League expansion series for the Las Vegas Venom. Last time out, we defeated the Timberwolves on the road for the first game of the year. Daniel Russell, 29 points, 5 rebounds, 14 assists on only 12 of 17 shooting. Very good job by him. Anthony Edwards, 21, 6, and 4, and 1 steal, 8 for 17. And then Carl Carl Anthony Towns, 21 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. Really good game from those three guys, the main three on that team. For us, the people who won by 8 points, uh, thanks to a strong fourth quarter offense. 24 points from Derrick Rose and Frank Jackson, uh, our two starting guards. Uh, 10 assists for Derrick Rose, 10 for 17 from the field. Frank Jackson, 9 for 15 and 4 for 5 from deep, including a really clutch dagger off of the offense rebound by Bobby Portis. And Ty Jerome, 19, 5 and 3, 7 for 11 shooting. Portis, 15, 5, 4 and 3. And then OJ Williams, our rookie, 13 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals, but only 5 for 18 from the field. And we're going to sim a couple of games real quick. Then we're probably going to watch either the game against the Thunder, uh, the Bucks, or the Wizards because I want to watch a home game. So uh, let's get to simming and let's actually watch the game against the Thunder. They have a couple of nice rookies, including Evan Goodrich and Deanna Martin Jr., both who are in their starting lineup. So we'll face them in the upcoming matchup. All right, so after seven, we actually have lost the next five games after our opening victory. As we said, we are not a good team, but losing all five of these games is not very good. Our defense seems to be a major glaring issue. Uh, offense, not too bad, but uh, I mean, only one game below 100 points. So against the Sixers, OJ Williams, his first 20 point game, getting 21, 2, 1, and 2, 8 for 17. Still not a good shooting numbers for him, but he was 4 for 5 from deep. Carmelo Anthony, 17 points off the bench. Frank Jackson, 14 points. Portis, 10 and 9, but only 2 for 10 from the field. The Sixers get 35 and 10 from Joel Embiid on just six missed shots out of 20. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, 17, 3 and 3. Ben Simmons, 16, 5 and 5. The next game, we lose to the Nuggets, who are now 5 and 1. OJ Williams, 27 points and one rebound on 9 of 15. That's more like it. A good game from the rookie. Derrick Rose gets 21, 1 and 3. On 9 of 13 shooting, Frank Jackson, 19 points, 7 for 12. While Michael Porter Jr., Jokic, and Murray, the big three for the, the Nuggets, all have good shooting nights and put up more than 20 points. Jokic getting 26 and 15 and nearly a triple-double with 8 assists. A really good game from him. Then we lost uh, the second straight again to the Nuggets. In this game, Derrick Rose, 24, 2, and 6, 8 for 13 shooting. Carmelo, 13 points. Frank Jackson, 12. Jordan Bell gets 12. And OJ Williams, 9, 7, and 4 with two steals, 3 of 16 from the field. Rough shooting night for him again. The Nuggets get 24 from Jamal Murray, 23, 9, and 10 from Jokic, nearly another triple double. Um, and then 18 from Michael Porter Jr. Then we lost to the Trailblazers by five points. Uh, Damian Lillard, 27 points, five assists, nine for 14, including five for 10 from three. Norman Powell, 21 points, seven of 16 and four for 10 from deep. For the Venom, 21 points from Derrick Rose on eight for 10 shooting. Ty Jerome, 18, six and four. 6 for 12 from the field. OJ Williams, 6 for 17 from the field. 15 points, 7 rebounds. Then, uh, our most recent game, we lost by 22 to the Spurs. In this game, OJ Williams, 24 points and 5 rebounds, 9 for 22 from the field. 
Derrick Rose, 12 for 3 and 8, 5 for 12. Frank Jackson, 4 for 10, 12 points. And Carmelo Anthony, 12 points, 4 for 14. While the Spurs, Kelvin Johnson, 21 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 6 for 12. And Derek White, 22 and 4, 6 of 9 from the field. Just uh, pretty even scoring for the Spurs in their lopsided win. And now, let's go check out the rookie report before we uh, jump into this game against the Thunder as we find ourselves at 1 and 5. So right now, Darius Lyons, or Leones, however you want to pronounce that, for the Cavs, who is an 86 overall rookie at only 20 years old, uh, 24 points per game, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, shooting uh, nearly 55%. Just really good stuff from him. Uh, Nico Mannion playing very well, 19 points per game. Um, OJ Williams, 18 points per game, 5 rebounds. Perry Hilliard, 17 points per game. And then Dan Martin Jr., who we're going to face in this upcoming game, 14 points per game. And then Evan Goodrich down here at 12 points per game, another Thunder rookie. And I forgot to do player mentorship. So first and foremost, I'm going to give OJ Williams a mentor. Let's get him some badges. Let's use uh, Luke Kennard. Why not? Let's do catch and shoot. Let's do corner specialist. And let's do steady shooter. All right, here we go at the Las Vegas T-Mobile Arena. The first home game on this channel for the Las Vegas Venom. The Thunder are starting SGA, Dort, Goodrich, Dan Martin Jr., and Montrez Harrell. We've got Rose, Frank Jackson, OJ Williams, Jordan Bell, and Bobby Portis. And Portis is going to lose the tip to Montrez Harrell. Here is Shea Gilgis Alexander. The Thunder 5 and 1 coming into this matchup. And we are on a five game losing streak after winning our first game of the season. Can we stop the bleeding here? Here's Dean Martin Jr. He feeds Montrez Harrell, who gets past Portis in an easy layup. Download to open the scoring here in Las Vegas. Derek Rose is dealing with some uh, left shoulder tendritis or some shit like that. He drives and cannot hit that layup in traffic down low. Here's Lou Wentz Dort. Mismatch on Portis. He feeds Harrow down low, guarded by Frank Jackson. And he's going to muscle in for another easy bucket down low. Rose feeds Portis down low, who is going to body Montrez Harrell down low. He goes out of bounds, and Portis puts it in for the easy layup. First points for the Venom in this game. Here's SGA. Gets a screen and then pops a... Jumper, but that's no good from the elbow. Derrick Rose with the ball. Goes to Frank Jackson in the corner, who nails that triple. Nice assist there from Derrick Rose. Here's Evan Goodrich. Now SGA. He passes to Dort. He passes up a three, but then passes back to Alexander, who cannot hit that. Deep ball. Here's Frank Jackson in transition. Screen from Bell. Then he is, takes a fadeaway three, and that's going to be off most of the time. Here's Gildas Alexander. Passes to Dort. Now back to Alexander. He's guarded by Derek Rose. He's going to swim past him down low and gets a nice layup. Some easy buckets inside so far for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Derek Rose with the ball. Passes to Portis. And Portis has it stripped by Gildas Alexander. 
in transition now. He pulls and pops, and that one's off. Frank Jackson feeds Derrick Rose, and a nice little cut right there by Rose, and them retake the lead. Here's Dort. Now here's Gotis Alexander, one for three so far. He passes to Deion Martin Jr. Now down low to Harrell. Harrell spins and cannot hit that hook shot. Portis grabs the board. Here's Derek Rose. A screen from Portis. A lot of dribbling here going on. Derek Rose pops a three. That one's off. Montrez Harrell grabs the board. Here's Goodrich, guarded by Bobby Portis Jr. He passes to Dan Martin Jr. Martin steps back but decides not to pull the trigger and then pulls it a second later and that's off. Here's OJ Williams with the ball. He has not scored yet. This pass to Derrick Rose. Back to Williams on the corner. Screen from Portis, Williams drives and gets fouled by Harrell on that layup attempt. Two free throws coming up for Montrez Harrell. Averaging 18 points per game and five rebounds. He hits that first free throw. And gets number two as well. Venom up by three on the five and one Thunder. Here's Dan Martin Jr. Guarded by Bell. Martin feeds Harrell inside, who cannot finish in front of Portis. Gets the rebound and then misses again. Derrick Rose passes to Frank Jackson. Now Jordan Bell. Now Derrick Rose again. He passes to Portis who can take a jumper from the free throw line and that's in. A nice pass and a nice shot right there by Portis. Venom 4 for 7 so far. Thunder 3 for 10. Alexander pulls that one and he can't hit. Williams grabs the board. He passes to Derrick Rose who's going to drive. Takes a runner. But then Jordan Bell on the putback slam. A seven-point lead for the Venom. 13-6. to six. Just under halfway through this first quarter. Here's Dort. Back to Gildas Alexander. He drives. Get past Derek Rose and a nice layup down low. Alexander has four points so far in this game. Derek Rose gets stripped by Gildas Alexander. Now in transition. A nice layup right there. He's got six now. And it's down to a three-point lead for the Venom. Here's Frank Jackson. Now Jordan Bell. Now Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose passes to Portis again, but he does not shoot that one. Frank Jackson gets a screen, then drives. Passes back to Portis out of a shot. And Portis... Cannot finish down low right over Dort. Ty Drum and Carmel Anthony waiting to come into the game for the Venom. Dort passes to Gildas Alexander. Not too much offense so far in this game for either team. Dion Martin as the shot clock winds down and cannot hit. OJ Williams grabs the board. He takes a three, and that one's in for O.J. Williams, the rookie. The Thunder call timeout, down by six, with 5.10 left to go in this first quarter. Back here in Vegas after that timeout by the Thunder. They're down by six, and here's Theo Maladon for three, misses that one out of the timeout. Here's Wayne Ellington. Now Justin Jackson. 
top of the key. Screen from Carmelo Anthony. Jackson drives, takes a runner, and can't make that one off the backboard. Maladone guarded by Wayne Ellington. Passes to Moses Brown, who passes to Gildas Alexander, still in the game. He passes down to Brown. He passes back to Gildas Alexander. He's going to have to take a contested layup right there, and he can't hit. Justin Jackson now driving to the hoop. Passes to Carmelo, who cannot finish in traffic down low. Here's Shea, Gildas Alexander, Ella, alley oop right there to Basley. An easy dunk right there. Lack of defense by the Venom and an easy dunk right there for the, the uh, Thunder. It's a four point game now. Here's Wayne Ellington, takes a deep three and that one's in. The assist from Ty Jerome that time. Shea takes a three, and that's in. They get a two. His foot was actually uh, on the line right there. But still a nice shot from him. He's got eight points, I believe. Dwayne Devin back to Ty Jerome. Now to Carmelo, who takes a jumper from the stripe and can't hit. Thunder grab the board. Here's Maladon inside to Shea Alexander, who takes a shot from the baseline, and that one's good. A three-point lead now for the Venom. Here's Carmelo Anthony. He spins and then drives. Then has it stripped by Basley. Thunder could tie the game here. Or make it a one-point game. Here's Moses Brown. Now go to Alexander. Passes back to Bogusevsky. Now SGA with the ball, takes a contested three, and that's off. Deadman grabs the board. Here's Ty Jerome with the ball. Screen from Carmelo. He passes back to Carmelo, and this time that shot's good by Carmelo Anthony, guarded by Theo Maladone. A nice shot, his first points of the game. Thunder 8 of 20 so far from the field. Venom 8 of 16. SGA pulls up and misses that open jumper. But Moses Brown grabs the board and puts it back in for the Thunder. Ty Jerome passes to Deadman. Deadman has it stripped by Pokusevsky. In transition. Passes to SGA, and he's going to hit that jumper for two. A one-point game now. Thunder fighting back early on. Ty Jerome, top of the key. Passes to Carmelo Anthony at the elbow, who spins and then draws the foul on Moses Brown down low. That's two free throws coming up for Carmelo Anthony. Future Hall of Famer. His first free throw is good. 12 and a half points per game so far. Early in this season, he hits both free throws. Here is Gildas Alexander. Screen from Brown. SGA pulls up and can't hit. Anthony grabs the board. Here's Justin Jackson. He is still scoreless in this game. As he drives and pulls up and cannot hit that jumper. Moses Brown grabs the board. Maladon now. He drives, gets past Ellington and finishes down low. It's a nice pick and roll action there by the uh, Thunder. As Maladon grabs his first points of the game. Here's Ty Jerome. Now Carmelo Anthony. 
Guarded by Maladone. Anthony has it stripped by Maladone. Another turnover for the Venom. And a nice feed right there to Basley from Gildas Alexander. An easy dunk off the assist. And the, the Thunder have taken a one-point lead late in this first quarter. 24-23. Venom will hold for the final shot. Carmelo. Dribbles down low and then draws the foul on Basley. Two free throws coming up yet again for Carmelo Anthony. He's got four points. First free throw's good. And so is the second. He's four for four from the stripe so far in this game. And the final shot right here from Gildas Alexander from half court. Nearly goes in but rattles out. And the Venom hold on to a one point lead after one. Jumping back in here with 3.50 left in this first half, the Thunder have taken a commanding 13 point lead, outscoring us 21 to seven so far in this second quarter. Williams takes a shot and cannot hit. Evan Goodrich grabs the board. He passes to Gildas Alexander who pulls up in front of Derek Rose but can't hit that one. Portis grabs the board, here's Derek Rose. But I'm not a good rebounding team through the first six games of the season. Derek Rose takes an open jumper and that one's off. Pokusevsky grabs the board for OKC. Derek Rose only one for seven so far with four points and four assists. Pokusevsky passes to Trez Harrell down low and he's got an easy layup. A 15 point lead now for the OKC Thunder. Here's Frank Jackson. Now back to Derek Rose. Now Portis. Now Jordan Bell. Now Derek Rose. Some good passing right here from the Venom. Over to Frank Jackson now. He takes a three and that one's off. But Portis grabs the board and gets fouled on the putback. That is Pokusevsky's first foul of the game. And Portis heads to the charity stripe for two. It's the first one. Can he hit the second? Yes, he can. Here's Goodrich on the wing. Now Bogusevsky. Now Dan Martin Jr. down low. He cannot finish against Jordan Bell. The OKC rookies struggling so far, but so is OJ Williams as Bobby Portis. A two-handed slam down low off the feed from Derrick Rose. 11-point game now. Thunder lead. Two minutes to go in this first half. Montrez Harrell gets past Portis and has an easy layup yet again. Harrell averaging 20 points per game on 68% true shooting percentage. Here's Frank Jackson. Passes to Derrick Rose who takes a contested jumper and that's Going to be a miss right there. Harold grabs the board. Pokusevsky guarded by O.J. Williams. Passes to Dan Martin Jr. who fades away on that shot and can't hit. Second straight miss right there by Dan Martin Jr. Here's Williams for the Venom. Trying to trim this lead before half. Pass to Derrick Rose. He gets doubled. Pass to Frank Jackson who takes a nice shot and that's in over on the wing. 1-10 to go in this first half. Can the Venom get a couple more stops, stops before this half is over? Alexander pulls up and that one's off. Portis grabs the board off the tip from Jordan Bell. SGA has 15 points on 18 shots in this first half. Frank Jackson misses, but Portis grabs the board. And then it gets blocked by Harrell, but Bell grabs the board again. 
Portis grabs that board off. Bell's miss. And now Williams steps into a shot and can hit. So four missed opportunities right there from the Venom on that possession alone. A lack of offense for both teams, really. But Martin Jr. muscles down low but can't hit yet again. Bell grabs the board. Now here's Derek Rose. Guarded by Gotis Alexander. He gets doubled again. Passes to Bell who takes a three. And that one's off. But Portis grabs the board again. But has no time to put it back in. As the Venom only mustered 38 points in the first half. Down by 11. Here at T-Mobile Arena. And here's the halftime report. The Venom shooting only 29%. They are, however, out-rebounding the Thunder by two. The, the Thunder have seven steals so far to the Venom's zero. A lot of turnovers in the first half for the Venom and poor shooting. All right, midway through the third quarter, we find ourselves down by 19 points right now. Only 11 points so far for us in this third quarter, but we only scored 13 in the second. So, at least there is some sort of improvement, but we've had 68 points so far. Not even halfway through this third quarter, as that three is in right there by Theo Maladone. And now it's a 22-point lead for the Thunder, looking to... Increase their record to 6-1 and one in the early goings here in this season. Ty Jerome with the ball. Finds Frank ja or Justin Jackson excuse me, from 3 who nails that one. And we answer right back with a 3 of our own. Aladon finds SGA down low for an easy layup. He's got 22 points. So far in this one. That I'm not very strong on, de on defense or offense in this game. Justin Jackson from deep. Can't hit this time. As Godis Alexander grabs the board. Maladon finds SGA on the wing. He drives. But can't finish down low over Ty Jerome. Deadman grabs the board, and now here's Ty Jerome in transition. Wayne Ellington feeds Carmelo down low, who has a nice touch but can't finish at the, ho at the hoop. And then Deadman grabs the board and gets fouled by Basley. Two free throws here for Basley. This is our first time seeing the white home jerseys in action in this series. Deadman hits both free throws. It's back to a 19-point game. Can we put a run together in this third quarter? Maladon drives, takes a runner, but can't hit. Ty Jerome. Guarded by Pokusevsky. And then he gets it stolen by Pokusevsky. Another turnover. We have eight on the night. And then in transition to three in the corner by Shea Gildas Alexander, making it a two as foes on the line. But still a 21 point game here in favor of OKC. Venom cannot find the hoop so far. Justin Jackson and another three. That one's off again. And Brown grabs the board for OKC. Here's Pokusevsky. A nice speed down Lena Maladon who slams it home. The Thunder just increasing their lead in this third quarter. Then I'm trying to find some semblance of offense, but they just can't as Carmelo Anthony misses down low. Moses Brown pulls up and can't hit that jumper. Deadman grabs the board. Justin Jackson drives past Pokusevsky, but can't hit the layup. 
the offensive struggles continue for the Venom. Pokusevsky feeds Moses Brown down low. A slight mismatch. A hook shot, and that's off by Brown. Carmelo grabs the board. Ellington feeds Ty Jerome, who takes a shot at the stripe and can't hit. Bogusevsky trying to get down low, but then takes a jumper, and that's good. Right over Justin Jackson. He's got his first bucket of the game. One for one for Pokusevsky. 25-point game as Deadman gets fouled on the layup. That's Moses Brown's second foul. First one's good by Deadman. And so is number two. Here's Basley. Trying to work around Carmelo. Passes to Williams in the corner. And he finds Balladon down low with an easy layup. Right in front of Ty Jerome. Still a 25 point game. This is the last play we'll watch of this third quarter. Ty Jerome finds Carmelo who takes a three. And that one's in. Finally a shot goes in for the Venom. And now we'll pick this up. Uh, with the final minutes of the fourth quarter. See if we can get something going here. All right, final final three minutes of the fourth quarter here. Uh, down by a lot. Just want to see if we can see uh, anybody step up or just play well. Just get something going here. We, we got 80 points with only three minutes left. Down by 32 points. And then Dan Martin Jr., the rookie for the, the Thunder, finds an easy bucket down low off the assist from Gotas Alexander. He's got 15 points, only on 25% shooting, however. Ty Jerome finds Carmelo Anthony on the elbow. And he gets stripped by Montrez Harrell. Another steal for the Thunder. A lot of steals for them in this game so far that we've seen. A couple of subs waiting to come in for us. As that shot's missed by SGA, but it's rebounded by Moses Brown, and they keep the ball. SGA pulls up at the stripe, can't hit, but Brown gets the other offensive rebound again and puts it back in. For the deuce. A 36 point game here. Just an absolute blowout. Early in the season. Here is Carmelo Anthony. He drives and gets fouled by Montrez Harrell. His third. Just want to see if anybody can step up here. Put together a personal run of their own. So we have something to look forward to. As Anthony hits both free throws. As Shea pulls up and can't hit that jumper. But then JaVale McGee, the putback dunk. We've seen plenty of those by the Thunder so far in this game. As Boban gets the alley-oop, and it's a layup, but still an alley-oop nonetheless. Not much to be excited about so far. Have not seen much from O.J. Williams, our rookie. Have not seen much from anyone on our team, really. Another offensive rebound for JaVale McGee, and he puts it back in. Just too many offensive rebounds allowed by our big men and too many steals and turnovers by our team as well. Down by 36. Here's Royce O'Neal. Haven't seen much from him. He misses that jumper. Less than one minute to go here. This game long over since the early third quarter. 
screen for Gildas Alexander. Passes to Roby. Now to JaVale McGee, who steps back and can't hit that shot. Royce O'Neal in transition. O'Neal passes to Tigerum, who takes a three. And that one's off, but Boban gets the offensive rebound and puts it back in. And that will do it for this game. Thunder will just milk the rest of this clock. Only 12 seconds left. So that will do it. A 34-point loss here in the second episode of this series. Not much to be excited about from this game alone. And the Thunder moves to 6-1 on the year. We fall to 1-6. Just uh, nothing good about this game, to be frank. So here's your box score from the uh, from the seventh game of the season. We fall to one and six. Bobby Portis leads our leads our scorers with 18 points and 13 rebounds on six of 10 shooting. 6 for 7 from the stripe. Carmelo Anthony, 15 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 for 12 with 8 free throws. Derrick Rose, 14 points, only 5 points on a 1 of 7 from the field for OJ Williams. Just poor offense all around. Uh, no positives here. Um, the Thunder get a big game from Shea Gildas Alexander. 34 points, 2 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 steals. Uh, 15 for 32 from the field, 4 for 8 from deep. Montres Harrell, a double double, 16 and 12 on 18 of or 8 of 13 from the field. And the two rookies for the Thunder, Dan Martin Jr., 4 for 16 from the field, uh, 15 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. While Goodrich gets 12 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 5 for 9 from the field. He used your team comparison only. 35% as a team for us. We shot very well from the stripe, but that's where a lot of our points came from compared to the Thunder. They had seven free throws total, while we had 24 and only missed one of those. We were 30% from deep, they were 47%. They had much more fast break points, much more points in the paint. We had equal amount of second chance points, which is kind of shocking considering how many offensive rebounds they must have had. Uh, we did have more bench points. Uh, they had more assists, they had eight more offensive rebounds, four more defense rebounds, and nine more steals. Before we end here, let's take a look at the standings, and especially where, where the Warriors are uh, through the first six games of the year. They're four and two. We do have their first round pick. It's top 10 protected, uh, or lottery protected, or some shit like that. Uh, but they are they are four and two, um, so so far things are looking positive for us. We still might keep that pick, but it is very early on, uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. We fought a one and six on the year, a six game losing streak after opening the year with a win, and I will catch you guys next time in the my league expansion franchise here. See you guys in episode three.